In this InDesign tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to add a bleed to a new document or an existing document in Adobe InDesign. Let's start off on the new document page. So if we go to new file, just as we open up InDesign and we select any file, personally, I would put this in inches, not the picas, but no matter what you select here, at the bottom, there's a little drop down where you can add bleed and slug. We won't talk about slug in this video, but the bleed here, if I wanted to do like an eighth inch, I could do that and if this change is check marked, it's going to actually apply it to each. Uncheck this if you want a specific bleed to certain sides of your document, but generally you keep it checked and it applies the same bleed to all sides of your document and we can hit create. Once we've created this, it's going to open up this new eight and a half by 11 sheet with an eighth inch bleed. In the preview mode by pressing the W key, which you can swap preview modes from normal preview to the preview, like the document preview where the edge of your document is going to be, you can see where the bleed is going to get cut off. And generally with the bleed, what you're going to do is create shapes and objects. If you want it to the edge of your document, the whole point of the bleed is there for the printer so that they have space in case this rectangle or this background image shifts while printing, that there's space to cut out exactly the document size that you're looking for so that you get that background going all the way to the edge. So if you already have a document, and you want to either change the bleed on it or add a bleed on it, I would go up to File, down to Document Setup. On a PC, this might be an edit down to Document Setup, but just find Document Setup. And once you're inside of there, same thing here. We have a little drop down for the bleed and slug. We can edit the bleed here and add it just like that. Now, the most important thing here is that when you export your file, you include the bleed with that. So if we were to go to File, down to export or even one of the Adobe PDF presets. No matter what, we're just gonna to go to export for this. We're gonna select Adobe PDF. I'll just do it to my documents, untitled, save. And then inside of the export PDF settings, you need to go to marks and bleeds and you need to make sure that you include what you want here. So for instance, under the bleed and slug, I'm gonna include the document bleed settings. So whatever my document's set to, it's gonna include the bleed in there. And then what you can do is include printer's marks if your printer needs them so they can include bleed marks or crop marks, which would just be little marks that show where that bleed is on the PDF file. Don't worry, it's not going to print in your document. They're going to be able to take care of that once they cut your document to size or trim it to size. So that would be the most important thing to do there is to go to marks and bleeds and then make sure you use document bleed settings. Otherwise, there will not be a bleed on the document you send to the printer. That's how to add bleed here in Adobe InDesign.